What's up, guys? Teddy Cornwell here. Welcome to the Underdog Talk. Something about the Underdog. Today we have the mind behind Elevate Stuff on the show. But before we get into this interview, I have to give this brand a proper Underdog Talk introduction. A brand hailing from Detroit, Michigan. The Detroit Lions official supplement supplement brand. I'm just playing with you guys. <laughs> a brand that prides itself in supplements that you can take your training to the next level. A fully transparent brand. And finally, a brand that the legendary review bros gave both thumbs up. I'm proud to have Elevate Subs on with owner Dalton Criswell and head of community outreach near Leon. What is up, gentlemen? How are you guys doing today? We are doing well. Doing well, doing well. How about yourself, Dad? I've been busy. I've been busy, but I think, you know, being busy is good. Uh, I'd rather be busy than not be busy. So, yeah, life's going on. to hear, man. That's amazing. Heck yeah. And I mean, before we start, I got to say, your newest product, Infla 8, is that how you say it? I mean, it looks really damn good. Thank you so much. Yeah, no, it's inflate. Uh, we started to take a unique spin twist, if you may, on the typical pump formula slash capsules, if you may, because a lot of the industry standard is, you know, your citrullines, your just straight glycerol S7, the newer training ingredients. Uh, I've been a fan of arachidonic acid for years now. I've been taking it myself. Uh, I felt like there was something missing in the industry. So we tried to take two of in my opinion, the most effective from a immediate no difference, if you may, from like a blood flow rush to the muscle and an inflammatory response, put them in one product. Only thing we're running into is it's seven capsules. So that's one thing that we've had, you know, some people, you know, I don't like capsules, so they don't like the product, but we've had a lot of people that were able to open the capsules up, pour them into, you know, a pre-workout concoction, whatever it might be, get the same result, if not better for the faster acting, right? But because, you know, it is a niche product being a capsule, when we do drop our powder formula, it's going to be a night and day difference between the two. Uh, they're going to complement each other as well. But we're just, like I said, trying to innovate with that and make sure that we're leading in that category when we're trying to find products. The first skew we dropped was called Vigorate. Uh, and the design behind the product is completely different. Definitely far from mainstream, uh, very inclusive. So the market didn't necessarily, from a wholesale perspective, recognize what the product was designed to do, especially being that it had unique ingredients like HICA, HMB, phosphatidic acid, uh, trademarked ingredients like Elevate ATP. So now it's just a matter of we're trying to continue that trend, but also open up other products. For example, our pre-workout, very high stim. It's loaded with DMHA, urethranosis, nootropics out the wazoo, new, new peps. It's kind of a more of a gray area for people that are in the you know, drug tested sports, uh, military police, et cetera, if you're getting drug tested, because it does have the DMHA, but that allowed us to get into the mass market uh, from a demand standpoint, we were able to open up the door for wholesale there. And I mean, I can't wait for that powder to come out with all of them. I mean, seven, I can barely get down my multivitamins. There's seven pills. <laughs> that's, that's pushing it, but I definitely, the powder would definitely be a game changer. Um, so I want to start from the beginning. I mean, Dalton, what made you want to start a supplement company? So that is a loaded answer and I will give you full transparency. So I actually started in the industry. I'm originally from Fort Myers, Florida. I used to run a company called Total Nutrition down there. Uh, we had seven locations and there's some things I like, some things I didn't like. And uh, I actually was 17 turning 18 years old. They put me into a management role where I was able to learn a lot of management skills, learn a lot about sales, things of that nature. So I had a lot of brick and mortar retail experiences 10 years ago. And uh, fast forward, you know, I'm in there for about a year and I meet this physician and he saw potential and he's like, Hey man, you know, wh what, what are you doing with your life? And I, in my head, I'm like, you know, oh, I'm, I'm doing great. I'm running a company. I'm making six figures. It's great. Um, I didn't come from money. So, you know, having to be able to, you know, just not look at my bank account was a great feeling. And I didn't really understand that there's more to life than just money back then. And I was just living on a cloud nine being a big shot, you know, uh, fast forward, I started realizing that all, not all supplements are equal, right? And obviously, you know this, you've had a lot of awesome brands on, like, for example, you know, the ghosts of the world, the rise of the, world, the ones that came out with full transparency and said, we're not going to follow the trend of, I'm not going to name big brands. I'm just going to say that a lot of the bigger brands started with, they'll do prop blends. And as you've seen the last 10 years, people have moved completely away. If you're doing prop blends in today's market, I don't think anyone's going to buy your product. I, I just, you know, so that said, um, I actually moved across the country to Michigan in 2014 and started a chain of stores called My Nutrition. 
okay? And what we did was different. We hand selected all the brands, obviously not being a franchise, a little backstory on Total Nutrition, if you didn't know who they were for your viewers, they're a national, they were a national franchise. So you'd have to sell all of their products. Yeah. And whether or not the products were good, that's a whole other conversation. They were, they were subpar, mediocre, if you may, back then. This is again, things that when you're 18 years old, you don't really understand because there weren't people on YouTube tearing products apart. This is free. This is like 12, 2012-ish, right? So you're talking before the John Meadows, rest in peace to John Meadows, was coming out and suing companies. I'm not going to reference those either, but he was, I, I should actually, Prime uh, I think it was Prime Nutrition. I, I can't remember if it's Prime Nutrition whatever they they were cutting their product back in the day and john went and tested it and that became like the pinnacle of people were cheating if you may as you recall i'm sure the, the amino spiking you know not putting the ingredients they're claiming so there were co companies out there going and testing it and that's kind of where that vision came from is we wanted to be different and my old business partner being a doctor he had formulated his own product line as well at the time uh, his son played professional hockey, so they wanted banned substance free. They wanted fully disclosed, fully transparent, different products as well. So I helped him formulate back when I was actually Andrew's age. So I was younger. I was hungry. I wanted to be part of something. I was able to take lead there, help him get into wholesale there. Uh, coming to Michigan, though, you know, it was, it was there were definitely some missing pieces for the store. I wanted to be more inclusive. I wanted to be able to sell for one person this one product. It may have costed, you know, $70. But instead of spending $200, you're going to get everything you need in that one product, which is a lot of where, you know, these TikTok brands that are coming up and blowing up overnight are getting, this is why they're becoming so successful. You know, I know tons of brands that, you know, they're making these products that are just absolutely stacked through the gills. I mean, they have, I mean, they're very expensive costs. You're talking, you know, three times the cost of an average pre-workout to make some of these pre-workouts on the market today versus back in the day, that was the, sta the, the standard of a, you know, $10 formula is no longer there. You can't even make a pre-workout today for $10 anymore. You know, back when I first started, they were making pre-workouts for nothing. So really the biggest reason was to trans like, tra transform and change the trajectory of where we were going as a company, as a store. And not until the pandemic, I was able to uh, really sit down and reevaluate where the brand was going because we actually launched Elevate originally in 2017. Oh, wow. And yeah, so it's been around for a while, but we did went through a whole rebrand phase. It was kind of a house brand in the beginning. Uh, we just had a pre-workout, but I went way too big. And the manufacturer I was using, they screwed us. You know, they they had they didn't understand citric, uh, citric, uh, silica, and citric acid things like that. So if you if you don't have enough silica in a product, uh, I don't know if you're familiar with silica, but for your viewers, silica is an ingredient in certain manufacturing facilities that you would use to prevent clumping. And if you don't have enough silica, there's a very high chance, even without glycerol or high citrulline levels, you're going to clump. So I had over 500 units clumped from my first batch, but I went way too deep. I went 5,000 units, 2,500 of each flavor. And I, I lost a thousand units for each batch. And they just said, Take, kick rocks. And I didn't have the money to sue them. And I'm like, what am I supposed to do? So I got scarred. And when we, when the pandemic happened, you know, I, I went back to my roots and was able to really put together a dream team for them store side. Uh, you know, they're awesome, you know, top tier employees, team members that really care and they, they see the vision. You know, I met Andrew uh, when we relaunched the brand and we started taking up some steam with Decimate and, uh, you know, it, it's been history since. So we're hoping to keep going in the direction we're going and, you know, taking names and uh, growing, you know. Hey, I, I love I love the hunger, Dalton. I, I really do. And I mean, proprietary blends are I don't think anyone will pick them up. And, you know, C4 is the only one that I've seen that can rock it and, you know, still, you know, roll, honestly. It's a uh, name, right? It's a name. You're buying it because you recognize it. They did come so, out with the, the new C4, and it is a uh, not proprietary blend. Um, so oh, no way. Been, yeah, uh, Project Clear has been out for about three years. So, is that the one sure. that's like sixty bucks? Uh, no, that's a C4 Dynasty. Oh, okay. But Andrew, I, I'll, I'll direct this question at you. How did you, you know, join this this company, and and why did you join it? So originally, I was just like in it because i think all teenagers when they want to get in it they just want the free product right and then i realized oh wait i can actually help people and promote what i actually believe in doing this so originally like i still get um i was accepted by reg with regs line hit hit supplements um and bucked up um and then i'm like well i don't really believe once i was going through like their ambassador training i'm like i don't really believe in what this is I want to be a part of something that I'll actually be a part of and actually be able to help make a difference, especially with the teenagers nowadays. They don't really care what they're taking. 
they just take what they've heard of and what other people are like telling them is good. And I kind of want to be like, well, look, I want you to be able to tell me what's in your pre-workout, what you're actually putting in your body. So then I met Dalton and I'm like, well, this is what I want to actually do. So I, we started hopping on calls and then there was an event down in Lancaster and that was the first time we actually met up. And I mean, from there, it was just, I've had previous experience in sales. So from there, it was just, I can explain this product, I can sell it well, and I can actually help these people. Like, even if they don't want our product, I can help them find what's correct for them, which I think is very important because some people aren't going to like the high stim, right? Some people might need a non-stim product. And this was back before, before we actually had inflate out. Some people are going to want maybe something a little less stims, something maybe without any of the tingles. It really depends on what they're looking for. And just being able to help them and kind of be like that helpful figure is really what, I mean, I think what we're all standing for here. I respect that. I mean, I think that was the perfect answer, Andrew. I think you hit it on the nail. Now, Dalton, I know you talked about what your supplement company is. What is the process of, of starting a supplement company? I know you talked about, you know, the batch has gone bad, but what is the process of actually starting a supplement company? <clears throat> Good question. Um, so Ted, you see, it's actually not as complex as it seems. It's just a matter of learning, I guess, as you may, being able to find the people that have already been through the hurdles. And that's something where I screwed up in because I, I thought I knew everything being young and ambitious. I was just like, I'm going to find my manufacturer. I'm going to do it all myself. And the thing is, you know, without having contacts in the industry, like I didn't have, you know, years ago, it was it was really hard to sort through the guys that were bootleg you know bathtub supplement concepts because there's tons of people out there that can promise the best lead times and i actually have had and i'll shut out a second experiences where people can promise the world then they take your money you never get the product and you'll be lucky especially if you're funding with your own money like i was doing in the beginning where everything was it was all out of pocket and the guy took my money and just dipped out on me so it was really painful you know i learned a lot first round was definitely an experience uh, you know i think if the pandemic didn't happen, I don't, there's no way we'd be here today because we were going in a completely different direction. And, you know, again, I think with the trial and error aspect, it's tough, but I guess to back on track here, the issue with manufacturers today is that there's a lot, okay, of brokers, as you call them, okay? And they'll reach out to you if you're a store or if you're someone on TikTok or if you're an influencer and they'll say, hey, Andrew, we're going to make you a product. It's going to have your name on it. You do nothing. We do everything for you. You're going to be either A, you're going to fund it yourself, or B, we can give you a small minuscule percentage, which is a lot of these bigger brands, not even bigger brands, but these brands that have popped up. And I'm not saying that's a bad thing to necessarily do, but some of these manufacturers, what they've done is they will pretty much, they'll, they'll, they'll say ABC products are in the product and then they'll get the product to you and it's a you know stock formula. And because you have a following, your followers will buy it. So to me, you know, if, if, if someone's going to start a supplement company, you've really got to get with the right, you know, group of people that have connections with labels, have connections with bras, you know, have legitimate manufacturing facilities that can, you know, process the products the, the right way. Um, and, you know, at the end of the day, it's going to cost a lot of money. It's going to take a lot of time. You know, my, my first year uh, manufacturing three years ago, you know, we, when we got back into the swing, of, well, more like two and a half years ago, when we got back into the swing of things with Vigor, it was taking me anywhere from 12 to 28 weeks, 12 weeks being that I paid, I give them some extra money. I'm calling them every single day. Uh, before I was working with the owners of the manufacturing facilities that we work with, I wasn't getting lead times. I wasn't getting responses and I was being told, Hey, you know, I don't know. And I'm like, what, what do you mean? You don't know you have my money. <laughs> uh, so that kind of piggybacks into what happened. I had a guy that was a, an employee of said company and he actually, he, we, they did a lot of huge brands. I don't want to bring them into this light, but I'm just going to say he was brokering deals, but we didn't know he was a broker. So he had falsified documents and an entity to match the manufacturer. So I never knew that this is even possible. It's highly illegal. And the, the manufacturer sued the guy, got all their money back. But if I wouldn't have caught it 30 days out, my, the, the bank that I had for at the time literally said, you're two days. If you wouldn't, if you wouldn't came in and filed this dispute or this, this uh, fraudulent charge, essentially, you would have not got your money back because if you're using a debit card, they at certain banks, I, I, I'm not going to speak for all banks, but the banks that I've used on a debit, not a credit, a debit card, they give you a 30 day window to dispute. And if you don't get within that 30 days, you're pretty much set out of luck. And they just say kick rocks. I mean, they, they, the thing is, too, the guy actually tried to blackmail me into coming in to his facility to run the product. 
and he said, oh, I got your product. It's at my new facility. I just opened with uh, so-and-so and so-and-so. And I started talking to my manufacturers. They're like, oh, yeah, we're suing him. Um, the fact that he said that we, we need to do an alpha David, it, it, was, it was insane. I mean, it was insanity. I, I never thought after having that first incident with the, with the clumping that I would run into an issue where someone's blackmailing us to essentially run the product where they wouldn't even, it, it, was, it, was, like a, it was like a nightmare. You know, you, it, these are things you can't make up. Like you would never expect the people that you've been doing business with for years now you know, to turn on you because, well, at the end of the day, with lack of knowledge, you, you just don't know. So, but yeah, that's kind of a crazy ride, but. I think the one thing that stands out to me, Dalton, is, you know, throughout this, you didn't give up. Obviously, so much ups and downs in this, you know, story for your supplement company, um, you know, and you, you stuck through it. Now you guys are really riding that wave. So well done on that because, unfortunately, a lot of people give up, you know, you. when you get one little hardship, uh, they turn away. So if you're watching, you know, and you're you're looking to give up, don't because it will get better. And I'm not talking about just supplements. I'm talking about, you know, your fitness journey, all of that. Don't give up. Um, now, I want to look into Elevate Subs. Was, is there a cool meaning behind it or did you guys just pick it because it sounds cool? I got to ask. To be fully transparent, <laughs> I was sitting on the couch one day. Uh, picking names is a lot harder than it looks and seems. Uh, and I, I always liked the concept and I, I, I just thought, you know, I liked the eight and I thought it was a cool concept. And we initially had peaks and mountains behind the logo that went up and down. I wish I had an old logo with me right now, but basically it was the concept of elevating your, your performance, uh, decreasing your recovery, of course, being just an optimal performance design brand. So uh, concept is sounds cheesy, but we want to elevate everything we're doing in life. And that's the design behind the brand. I love that. I didn't want to, I didn't want to assume because I, I, I assumed it was that, but with the eight, it might have thrown me off a little. Now, Dalton and Andrew, this is going to be the big one. Where do you guys see Elevate Supplements down the line and what else is in store for this brand? Andrew, I want you to answer that. I'm curious what okay. your thoughts are on that. So, I mean, honestly, I don't think there's any like limit to what we're doing. We're trying to work on something that's going to be, because obviously we got Decimate, we got Vigorate, we got Inflate. So we're obviously working on that pump powder. We're just really trying to make it like as fit for as many different people as we can. So if we can have someone who doesn't like the powders, they can take the pills. Someone who doesn't like the pills, they can take the powders. Someone who's maybe a drug test, an athlete, maybe we'll come out with something that will kind of help them. We kind of want to make it like a brand that no matter who you are, no matter where you are in your fitness journey, you can find a product that we have that will help you out. And on top of that, we've got the My Nutrition store. So we've got an in-body scale in there and all that stuff. So we also got the community aspect. Like I know that store, we're opening a smoothie bar in there and all that stuff. So people can come in and kind of feel like at home in there. And that's kind of, a, I, at least what I think we're trying to go for. Andrew, you sold me on your brand. I'm not going to lie right there. You really are good at what you do. I mean, I'm going to be, you guys sold me on your brand. Um, but Dalton, where do you see the brand going now? So... This is a little bit of a lengthy answer because I was very torn. Um, I had a lot of rejection early on in wholesale. This is almost three years ago with the Vigorate product being at the barrier to entry was so high. And I said, you know what? Forget it. I'm just going to focus more D to C. Um, you know, fast forward, we started to drop other products. I actually wanted to bring this one up specifically that we didn't touch on. It's called Fixate. All right. This is one that's completely different and way off the beaten path. It is everything from hydration focus you have nootropics you have full 600 milligrams of ksm so stress relief beetroot a, a gram so you've got healthy blood flow there's a full two gram clinical dosage of pico2 for those of you that don't know what pico2 is it's adaptogenic mushrooms phenomenal for focus immunity all those benefits there and it does help with atp in the muscle as well uh, what else am i missing hydration all right so you've got coconut water powder it does have a natural uh Aquanim, which is red allergy, essentially. It's 73 trace minerals. Phenomenal. Now, sad part was, and it's got B vitamins and stuff. Sad part was, this doesn't make sense where the industry is now. But this will be something that we bring back out because, in my opinion, it's the second product out, by the way. So there's technically four. This is one that we don't really talk about much. Um, and the goal is to continue to innovate with products like this one, like Vigorate, like Inflate. You know, from a pump standpoint, same concept. We want to be different. We don't want to follow the trends. And again, you know, concept is there's a million different ways to do this. And we just wanted to continue to set us apart as much as we can. Uh, but with that said, 
wholesale has absolutely taken off. Uh, we're in all, pretty much all of the East Coast. We've got account, I think we've got 40 accounts now and that was all organic. Uh, these are people that I've known in the industry or people that found out about us through YouTube, TikTok, whatever it was. And we're moving thousands of units of Decimate right now. So it's crazy because again, to me, if that would have never happened, I would have just kept doing the same things because when Decimate took off, I think we did, uh, we sold out uh, in four days, a thousand units. Uh, we have one wholesale account by 600 of those units. Yeah, believe that. Yeah, so we have one guy by 600 units. Well, at first he actually bought, he bought, I think he bought 100 or 300. And then the same, the very next, the same day he got it in, he sold out. The next day he says, when can I get this in? When would I be able to get this in? And I said, well, I mean, it's it's Saturday. You know, I don't know what, what I can tell you. Like, what, what do you want to do? It's, it's Saturday. He's like, okay, I want overnight by air. And he wanted 300 units. The dude paid like 200 something dollars in shipping to get it on a Saturday morning. I don't know if you realize how much it costs to overnight from Michigan. I think they're in, where are they based? They're, they're based in the Midwest. It wasn't like going to California, but still, you know, so that blew up overnight. So that kind of changed my entire perception on the trajectory of the, com uh, the company because, you know, Andrew and I are over here. I, I just traveled with, so him and I traveled to Pennsylvania. And then the very next weekend I, I traveled with our camera guy, Cameron, uh, we traveled to the arsenal. Shout out to my buddy Caleb out there. He had a great event with Jay Cutler and all them. We, uh, we went out there, we got to meet Jay, hang out with Jay, you know, talk some business, learn from the experts. Man. I mean, Jay's got a massive, massive, massive following, but also he's got a super successful supplement line. So we hit every, I drove from Michigan to Kansas city and then to Wichita, Kansas. And, you know, that's a, that's a, for those of y'all don't know, I be stopping. That was a 30 hour drive because I stopped, I went, I, I hit every single store. I hit anyone, you know, between here, store wise and Kansas. I went there personally. I shook hands. I, I explained the brand. I made sense. And the thing is in today's market, no one's doing that. So I said to Andrew, I'm like, Hey man, no one's doing this anymore. You know, and, and I and I speak with that from experience of being in retail for in my own store for eight years. About five years ago, all reps fell off entirely, at least in the Midwest, Michigan, if you may, northern this is northern for my Midwest people, but in Michigan, I've not had any visitors in years now. And being that I physically showed up at stores, they were mind blown. So that to me was very, very, very uh, I guess fulfilling, if you may, because these people were very happy that we came in. I actually got to meet wholesale accounts at the events we go to. So these people that didn't even know we existed, but because we were set up at a brand that they knew or a store that they knew, and it might even be competition in some cases. I got an account in Nebraska, Goliath Nutrition, great company. Uh, they're brand new. And he mainly carries like Jay Keller's line and a few other lines, very small selection, but very high volume. And he's like, man, I love what you stand for. And I didn't even have to ask him. He's like, hey, I like what you stand for. I like how you, you know, represent the brand, everything you guys do for the brand. We're going to give you a shot. So that's the goal from the wholesale perspective. We want to scale that substantially. We're, we're doing very well in the UK right now. Um, if you have any UK followers, we have a massive presence over there. Uh, and Viper Fitness currently has the exclusive over there. They do very well with us. Uh, they're smaller. They're, they're really close to the review rows. So they have a thing going on where they do codes and stuff like that out there. Uh, but as far as direct to consumer, it's not our focus anymore. You know, I, I would rather support the retailer. The retailer then can spread the good word. Um, and, and based on what I've seen from some of the brands that we've supported over the years, the ones that truly support and care about the retailer. Because in today's market, you know, I don't know if you're too familiar guys with the retail environment of supplements, not necessarily the brand side, but it's an apocalypse out here. You know, their store is closing every single day. It's insane. And it's a lot to do with they just don't innovate, you know. So if we're able to bring that value, not just from a brand perspective of having quality products at affordable prices, but having the knowledge on how to be successful as a store, that's where I think we'll win long term. I totally agree, Dalton. I think it does make the difference just seeing the person behind the brand. Um, and shout out to my guy, David Dodrell, actually, at Arms Race Nutrition, uh, who's been on the show. I mean, it makes a difference. When he came into my GNC, and told me about the products. I mean, I was like, wow, you know, so it is, it is a, it is a big game changer. So that's, that's I want to meet David. I have a shout out to David too. I want to meet the guy. I've heard great things. I was actually just in, uh, in Kansas with, uh, Pat, or no, can uh, Pennsylvania with Patrick. Um, yeah. you know, Patrick, what's his, maybe his last name. He runs the core America side of the thing. So it's, they're all owned by, uh, Doug. Yeah. We're yep. So, Doug so, on. so, so, his top guy or his main guy that runs the whole show from a wholesale perspective is Patrick. And Patrick kind of gave me the rundown on 
David. I'm like, no shit. And then I, I, talk, I asked around and they all, everyone. And then their mother likes this guy. I'm like, dude, I gotta beat this guy. Just pick his brain, learn, learn from the greats. That's the biggest advice anyone could take from you as someone that's bringing these brands on, you know, if you can get to learn from these people that have been in the industry for decades and they do it right. You know, they're not just sitting here complaining about why, oh, the internet's taking over, oh, prices, oh, this, you know, I could sit here and complain all day, but I'm not going to do that. You know, we're, we're going to innovate and evolve with the times. Now, now, Dalton, I don't know if you read my mind. I mean, the next tip I was going to ask is what tip can you give someone who's looking to create their own company? It doesn't have to be a supplement company. And I think you answered my question. Uh, you know, learn from those who have done it, you know, watch what they do because they've made the mistakes. They know how to progress forward. So, I mean, I do have one better piece of advice to give everyone watching, and this is from personal experience. And I'll give you a little reason why, <laughs> uh, when you're young, especially for the young people out there that want to start a company, do not let people get in your head because the second you start making money and growing as a business owner, everyone wants to be part of it. I can't tell you how many businesses I've actually owned at this point. Cause it's like 10 companies. I bought a restaurant. I had four stores, I was a national chain and I owned them all. And I had two partners that were minority partners in those two stores. Problem was, is that every time I would open something, even if I wasn't making money, and that's something that everyone, again, if you're watching, cash flow is king. If you're not cash flowing, you're not making money, you're not making sense. So my biggest piece of advice, stay in your lane, stay focused and don't spread yourself thin. Because I mean, for me, I, I'm vertically integrated now. I'm actually sitting in my future smoothie bar. This is literally just an empty box. Uh, because I, at the time I, I was never going to do this, actually, I was never going to put a smoothie bar in a supplement store. It just didn't make sense at the time. It's going to cost a lot. I'm talking like 40 grand. It's going to cost a lot of money. Uh, but because we failed originally and the store side, I ended up closing stores down due to partnership issues, due, due to, uh, absentee ownership. I didn't run the stores at all in person at one point, And that was a very bad decision. You've got to create a vision. If you have a vision, your team believes in you. It, that's all you need. I, in my opinion, you know, you could, you could have the strongest team in the world. Or you can have all the money in the world. I pick the strongest team because if we start from the bottom, we know where we're going. If you're if you're at the top already and you have all this money because someone gave it to you or whatever, that's why you fail. That's why I failed. I didn't know what I was doing. I never built a company prior to moving to Michigan. You know. I mean, you guys heard it here from the men behind one of the hottest supplement brands in the industry. Uh, now, gentlemen, I know you guys are both busy people, but are you guys down for some rapid fire questions before I get you out of here? Go for it. Go for it. Favorite Elevate Subs product? The great. Mine's got to be the uh, Pink Star Blast Decimate. I, my next okay. question was favorite flavor of that pre, that pre workout. And I was going to say that Pink Star Blast sounds gas. So, I mean. I'll send you a tub. You'll love it. Did you take pre workout? I'm assuming. I do. I do. High stim, medium stim, low stim. What do you I'm like? A stim guy, honestly. Oh, God. I got you already. We'll send it out tomorrow. First thing. Wow. I love it. Guys, and to answer best. your question, we have two flavors of Vigorate. I love the natural unsweetened or unflavored. Sorry, it's naturally sweet with stevia. And because it's a lot of ingredients, it just it sits well. It looks just like in his hands. So the white container is going to be your stevia unflavored because you don't taste it in your product. So if you're mixing it with pre-workout, especially all these new pre-workouts that are trending with amazing flavor profiles, you won't even taste it. And then you get the same strength gains you would on the lemon lime one, but it doesn't taste good, I'll be honest. I mean, it's definitely palatable, but it's just, eh. It's strong, is what it, it's like a strong flavor. I forgot who was telling me this. I mean, if you don't have a pre workout that's not tasting good, then you're doing something wrong. So I'm excited to see what you guys offer. Now, last two questions they're the big ones on this show. First one talk like Rocky for the rest of your life or have to box Rocky in his prime? Hmm. Box him in his prime. Let's go. Hey. Hey, I love I it. Will, I'll talk like him because that just seems fun. <laughs> you know who can talk like Sylvester Stallone slash Rocky crazy good? Uh, Rich Kaspari. I mean, that dude. Really? He When he was on my show, he burst the best um, Rocky impression. Later, Rich tells me that uh, Sylvester Stallone is the reason he got jacked. So I was like, all right, you probably – practice with him or something on that accent but <laughs> that's my guy risk a spark because he absolutely killed the accident the accent final question pull-ups or chin-ups gentlemen pull-ups pull-ups right answer i mean we what, are wait what's who, who did anyone say chin-ups i'm curious and you don't have to tell me who i'm just curious Is i'm going to say a few people have uh, got weird with it d trend you guys know him said neutral grip 
I was like, fuck you, man. Like, all right, outside <laughs> the box here. Um, but but it's a majority pull-ups, which I love. And not that I can do either, but I just chin-ups, I mean, but pull-ups, you know, you know that's the real deal. Absolutely. That's the way but, to go, man. Build that big back. Oh yeah. But gentlemen, it has been an honor and privilege. Now, is there anything you want to plug where we can find your products? Um, the website, your guys' Instagram, floor is yours. Absolutely. So if you want to check us out, head over to elevatesups.com. That's with the native course. Uh, you can use, we're going to actually create a custom discount. We're literally just going to use the word Ted. Uh, we're going to do that for the rest of the year, actually. So it's going to get you an exclusive discount. You'll have to go check it out to see what that discount's going to be because we're still working on the number. But if you're, if you're watching, you just made some, you saved some money. Uh, our Instagram and TikTok and all of social media are all the same at Elevate Suffs, all one word. Uh, no fancy, you know, hyphens or anything like that. But yeah, so come by, check us out, shoot us a follow. We'd love to, you know, hear some feedback on what you guys thought of the podcast and the products we make. And uh, the other thing, we just started up our TikTok, so we're doing giveaways. If you guys want a chance to get any products, we've been pushing the uh, giveaways. We've got one going right now, actually. Yeah. yeah, there's one going on right now, so we'll plug that. So we're giving a free full-size tub of the Natural Vigorate. Uh, basically, you just go to our TikTok, tag two friends, make sure you're following the page, and winners will be announced on Sunday night. So, I mean, I know what I'm going to be doing after this this interview, but all of that will be in the bio. I mean, gentlemen, it's been one of the biggest honors and privileges to talk to you guys. I love what you guys are doing to this industry. I love the products. I love what you guys offer. I love the high quality aspect of it. And most importantly, like you preach, Dalton, I love that it is not a proprietary blend. And you guys own what you have in it and you own the high quality ingredients. Um, but we appreciate we got, you, man. Hey, thank you so much for having us on. Yeah. Seriously. Yeah, we got some- when Andrew hit me up, I'm like, they want us. They, he's going to take us on. All right, let's, let's that's, go ahead. That's this conversation, the conversation yeah. that we're having. We're like, yeah, how are you going to have an Olympic medalist? Well, my thing is, they're going to let me talk to them. How about that? You know, that is pretty amazing. Congratulations on that, Ted. That truly is a fascinating thing. When he started telling me, when he sent me some of the stuff you've been in, involved in, things like that, you know, I'm actually personal friends with a part, one of the partners at uh, Rise, Greg Helton. Shout out to him, one of my really good friends in the industry. It's actually, he's the designer. He's the one that initially designed a lot of the products at Rise, and he wasn't even working there. It's kind of wild. Uh, so he ended up going in. I don't know if you know of him because he's not really the face. He's kind of in the background noise. But I got to hang out with him and all the boys from actually Dan Lorenzo, all those guys in Ohio, mm-hmm. literally just the other, what, Arnold time, a few months ago. Um, and it's just crazy who you meet, man, you know, and it's just, they're just like you and me. You just, that we all have the same vision, the same, the same goals, the same high energy. And it's just crazy networking with these awesome people. Cause you can learn so much. I mean, it just opened my eyes completely different than what I would have thought, you know, years ago. And I mean, all it takes is believe in yourself. And I see that in your brand. Now I normally end this, but Dalton, I'm having a blast. I got to ask, are you a Lions fan? I am actually a Buffalo Bills fan because I grew up in a weird situation. My parents met They're They're actually, my whole family is not from Florida. I'm the only one of my brother and I actually. So my mom, yeah, I know, right? I don't not like the Lions. I mean, I, I watch the Lions. I support the Lions, but at, true at heart, I'm a Bills fan. You know, my dad, he built, he's a car, my whole family's carpentry. So we all worked with our hands except for myself. Clearly I'm more of a talker, right? Uh, but they, we had a bar in our backyard that was, had it was an epoxy pour with the bill stuff everywhere we had football parties and we we're again we were living in florida so like you know everyone in their mother we fight, play the miami dolphins and my dad was literally getting screaming matches with these people so i grew up with a really heavy culture of the bills All right. they may they may have sucked for years but they're finally going to come back so it's nice to see that i, I was saying that i i love that i, I mean can't see them back what's that what's that jersey in the back so, there? Tim, so tim boyle is actually a good friend of the show and one of our guys oh, no way. We've had him on. I'm on another podcast where we interview uh, NFL players. Um, oh wow! David Tyree, I got David Tyree on. We've we've had some big names. Um, That's yeah, we got we got Tim Boyle on, uh, and I he's he's one of the guys. I was I was I was hoping you were gonna say yes. I'd be like, well, let me hit up Tim Boyle see if he wants to you know showcase some elevate subs. But you know, you're. A I mean, I, I'm definitely. <laughs> Again, I'm still on board with the Lions. I still support the shit out of them, but true at heart, I'm not going to lie to you to make it look good on camera. This is just who I am, you know? That's what I was telling you earlier. It's like I'm a very honest person. People ask me, especially on the spot. I love live because it's like this is the real as it gets. You can't go back and edit this stuff, you know? And that is something that I do believe this show, you know, what we do is is not scripted. It's live, um, and then it's re-put up on YouTube. But, yeah, these answers that every, every time we've had have been genuine, real, 
you know, there's no editing in this, but I mean, guys, we have some big guests coming up on this show, but until next time with the minds behind Elevate Subs, Underdog out. Cheers, gentlemen. Yeah.